third find of Biden's classified document shows how bad the problem is. I'm going over my third article in like two days from Red State because they're putting out really great um, work on the whole documents, uh, the uh, classified document fiasco. Um, this article is by Nick Arama. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also check out my link tree in the description, it has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. Um, there's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store where I have I Will Not Comply t-shirts, so check those out as well. <clears throat> Alright, let's talk about this news here. It's starting to get hard to keep up with all the classified documents that Joe Biden has left strewn all over the place. I wanted to clarify the alleged timing of the various fines. Again, this is from uh, <clears throat> Dick Aroma from um, Red State. Uh, he noted, as we have already reported, there, were, there was the cash that was found at the Penn Biden Center locked in the closet by the personal attorney who just happened to be clearing out Biden's old office. Again, and I talked about this before, who would pay thousands of dollars to a lawyer to clear out an office? That don't smell right, right? It, 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 that don't smell right at all in itself. But then there were a second uh, set that we reported on earlier, I reported on as well, of course, which was found in his garage near his Corvette. That's the one that Biden commented on and said they were safe because they were kept in a locked garage near his Corvette. He got uh, decimated by uh, George Washington Law School professor Jonathan Turley, who mocked his claim of a Corvette standard. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Noting there wasn't a viable, that wasn't a viable excuse. A campaign video also showed how insecure that garage truly looked. The second set was supposedly found on December 20th. <clears throat> now we mention another document found in the Biden residence in Wilmington. That's the third find. That wasn't found on December 20th. That supposedly was just found and the DOJ was just notified about it on January 12th. So today, they were just notified about this one today. Um, <clears throat> Matt Visser tweeted out, Matt Garland with a clearest timeline on when, where classified documents were found. November 2nd, Biden lawyers find a batch in D.C. December 20th, Biden lawyers notify a batch at um, his Wilmington garage. And then January 12th, Biden lawyers notify of another document at Wilmington House. So I wonder how many documents total. Because remember the uh, mainstream media was caping and saying, oh, it was only a couple documents they found that was classified. Well, now we know it's a whole bunch more. Um, um, Benny Johnson tweeted out um, this Fox News. Uh, DOJ confirms Fox News. Uh, to Fox News confirmed third discovery of classified documents mishandled by Joe Biden. So let's, let's check this out real quick. Here, Jonathan, um, our team just got off the phone with a senior official at the Department of Justice uh, weighing in on this point um, that we appear to be able to confirm that that is correct, that a third discovery uh, was a single document. According to this official to Fox single News, document. the DOJ, DOJ just found out about that one this morning and it was found at his residence. Wow, big, big. So now not only... Did we um, did they cover up the November fine before the election? But when they first told us about that on Monday, they didn't even mention the second set of documents found in the garage, which they already knew about. On top of this, Attorney General Merrick Garland said he had appointed a U.S. attorney to look into the November 10th. Um, um, look into this on November 10th. So why weren't we told about that back in November? Of course, we know why we, it wasn't talked about in November because it was close to the uh, mid. It was close to the um, election, the midterm elections. So they they didn't want to um, give uh, Republicans fuel to uh, uh, to campaign on. So they like they did the the um, Hunter Biden laptop. They totally ignored it. 
This is a festival of lying and cover up imploding right in front of us. Professor Turley raises a great point at this juncture. Given what a mess this is, why are Biden's private attorneys still allowed to root through everything? And that was my point that I made earlier today. It's classified documents. These lawyers do not have top secret clearance to be looking and going through classified documents. So why are they allowing this? It's, it's illegal. Basically, this is illegal. Uh, Jonathan Turley said, it is unclear why personal counsel and not the FBI were searching through this material given the earlier filings and disclosures, there's there also appear to be a third discovery of classified material. Shouldn't there be the, F, the FBI at their side at this point to make sure that things aren't being destroyed or covered up? And you know that's happening. You know that's happening right now. Turley also notes that not only were they kept in unsecure locations, but they have probably moved around to more than one place. That's why I mean they're finding it all over the all over the country, all over the East Coast. They're finding documents, classified documents everywhere. That Biden just leaving around. No wonder his son just leaves his laptop places and then forget about it. The, the dad is doing the same thing with with classified documents. Um, but Jonathan Turley said, "What is clear is there are these documents were not only held in unsecure locations." but they were likely moved more than once after being removed at the end of Biden's term as vice president. Not to mention all the people who may have had access to them in the house, the garage, and at Penn Biden Center, and wherever else the documents may have been since um, Biden wrongly removed them years ago, uh, were also saying six years since he left being vice president um, but these documents may not may not have been removed at the end of his time as VP. They could have been taking over all the time um, he was in office as vice president. So it could have been uh, longer than six years. Probably was. Talk about a mess. And again, I think he was using this as a way to. Uh, I think he was selling this, this this these classified documents. Why would you be moving these documents all around in the first place? He probably was selling them. That's why Penn State got all that money from the Chinese, and his um his um business his uh the Penn Biden Center got all these um anonymous donations from the Chinese government because he I believe he was doing the same thing Hillary Clinton was doing with her classified information and was selling it, and instead of him having a server like uh, Hillary Clinton had where the people had to go in on the server and get this information. I think they had to go in physically to the Penn Biden Center and get this material. That's what I believe was really going on. But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.